Hi guys, my name is Shay and this is my spelling. So basically, I'm from a mixed school. And I were Christian. I'm Muslim. Of course, I was born in Christian. Later, I converted to Muslim, blah, blah, blah. So during the process, I mingled with the wrong set of demands. <laughs> so, of course, then I, I let's say I was I was I, I was in church, but not fully in church. That's what I was saying. Because I I I, I liked myself a Like I was really really like in church alone. You know? But my normal life, my normal day to day life is something else. So basically, what caused that was because of the kind of friends I know myself with. And one thing I literally don't regret, but I learned from that. I was someone that okay, I was I then I, I was very dark then. I was very, very dark then and I don't pray to go back to that life because it's a really big mess. So basically uh, my life without Christ then my life was my life was was, was somehow let me just say that it was it was without shit like guys it was like cherry without shit. Like there was everything was just there. That time there was always a sad moment in my life, depression, anger, like anger issues, like a lot of things which is not supposed to be actually. But now that Miss Christ, everything everything has changed completely. There is peace of mind, there is happiness, there is joy, there is everything actually. And I wish I had known this earlier. I wish I had followed the right path. I wish I had. Because I'm trying my mom is my mom is a dignity in church. My dad was an older friend of whatever that was. But me, I was a different person in the house. And now that I'm surprised, see you guys. It's it's actually the best. See, I don't know who is going to watch this video right now or anything, but I want you like I want you to anything you're doing that like, you know it's not right. You didn't you know yourself like oh yes, it's not right, please. You guys should stop it. Like who is Christ? Mm, there is there is fullness of joy in Christ. Ah, but I was, I was, I was someone then that you wish not to have as a sibling. Like I'm, I was a daughter for someone. I was something else. I was something else. It's I'm always violent. Like you know, so something else. What should I think of my life, child? Now, okay, I gave my life fully this year, January 18, 2022, on Sunday. That was when I joined up with Christ, and I'm not ashamed to say this. These are my mistakes. I learned from them, and. But I said, I don't have any regret in this life. Let us learn one thing: we do not regret anything because everything happened for a reason. The friends I flew with now, then, then I, I have stopped it already. Everything I'm um, doing now, I'm trusting to myself. Now I open my heart to God to learn more things, to learn more things. Because I knew that for my she would never learn anything from anybody. She was very rude, proud of herself and everything. I'm so proud of myself too, but not really like. Really, 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 really was a purpose. Now I'm like a baby back in because you know I was born again and everything. But Sha, Sha, I don't want you guys to take my 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 mistake as something like oh, this is who she was before Christ or oh, this that 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 that. I want you to learn from it because this child nobody is perfect. I am trying to be perfect like Jesus Christ. So in the long run, I made I made mistakes and now I realize my mistakes. I hope you guys do. do. But if I move that is watching through to watch this video, this is my story. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Can you just tell us how much you talk to Christ? Oh, okay. I didn't talk to Christ when, like I said, generally it's in 2022. That day I was having a skit with a friend. Uncle, <laughs> it, was, it was really some of I was having a skit that day, and then I don't know. Whatever happened, I just walked up to Lake on that day and then I said, What are you guys doing? It was a real walked up to him and I just asked, What are you guys doing? He's just explaining, Are you guys having a meeting? Blah, blah, blah. And then Lake on said, What are you thankful of? I said, Everything. He said, In particular, I said, Life. And then, boom, Lake on said, Can you come back? Like, change your dress because I was in an outfit that was not pleasing God at that moment because I was doing his kids for a friend. So he was like, Can you change your outfit? And I'm like, Yes, I can. And I came back. And never since then, till now. Come on. I have a new family. Because then, you know, like you say, I was, ah, God, so something else. But that time, oh, everything was, so somehow, I was always sad, always depressed, anxiety, anger issues, everything. If you want to name it all, I have it. You see all these bad, bad things that people, are, I don't do, or I shall think of my life, shall. But I don't want you guys to see that as well, because that was the former she, you know, now I'm a changed person. 
is Christ. So you're not Christian. So it's not getting We are getting Yes, I was so clean. I want a lot of struggles. One thing, temptation to go back to that thing. No, now I don't have friends anymore. So sometimes I feel lonely. Then I remember Jesus Christ spoke to me. So who am I not? Who am I to feel lonely? And then I pray to God. And then, wow, this finish. Temptation to like, go back to that thing. Just to come home. Or more, just to come. But how do I, how do I overcome it? Overcome it by praying to God. You know, I can see. No, as if I was not was it, but I will come by praying more, like more who are there because willingly I want to like change tickets. Willingly I want to change. So I will come like that. If temptation you guys know, it's it's very big, I say, but it's only God that I help. Yes. Actually, this this week actually. I'm sure you know about this thing. Everything has been like amazing. I would say being with Christ, you have to be with Christ actually. I will be what I will say. What I want now say is that if you're if with Christ, serving what then you don't serve him with like two minds or something. So this week, it was really dark for me. I bought a part for, for someone, the rest of my heart. And I go attack later. At one point, I said I was tired, and someone made me realize that this is, like, this is what you signed up for. You don't have to be like tired. That like that moment was really standard for me because when I went to this person, this person was like, "Why would you? Why would you say you're tired? You started this thing like why would you say you're tired? You started you have to finish it. So there's no going back. So I started praying and I asked and I thank God that was good. I thank God that it didn't really really affect me. Here I am today. I'm strong and healthy. Not like. As if I know, not as if I'm good, like I was the best, I was always but oh, because I wanted God to dwell in me. And I wanted him more than me, like from the beginning, you know, like I just want him as well. People are wanting to people, but I'm coming to, I'm doing it because a friend is saying I should do it or something, blah, 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 nah, nah, nah. I'm doing it because this is what I want deep down from my heart. And there is no turning back, guys. So, thank you all. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, anything, just, just say it. But remember, learn. Okay, you should always learn from people, actually, and always be very, very calm about things. But some of some people from my experience, so I'll, I think if, if if any of my friends watch this video, they will know who I was before. Now, like she then and now, oh, there's a big difference. So, thank you guys. This is all love. <laughs>